Welcome back everybody for another episode of Regeneration TV. I hope you're ready for this new series. Uh, we just finished, as you know, Assurance of Salvation and we're moving into something a little different now. We're actually going to start talking about um, an issue that's a pretty big topic right now, even this month of March. Because uh, this month of March is Women's Rights Month. And uh, we're going to be studying the topic of abortion. And a lot of people really cringe when they hear this and maybe even don't even want to talk about it. But we know that it is something that we want to discuss. And we're going to do that as a, as a team. And we're going to actually have debates on it. We're going to allow the uh, young adults to come together and pull information and uh, debate the topic of whether it is right, whether it is wrong. And we're going to do it from a biblical standpoint, from a scientific standpoint, from all standpoints, and because we're in search of the truth. So I just wanted to give you a few statistics about abortion. Maybe you don't know what the definition is, but the definition itself is the premature termination of a pregnancy. That's what abortion really is, and it's usually intentional. Statistics are is that actually one in every four women is said to have an abortion by the age of 45. So I don't know that that's true for everybody, but statistically speaking, it's one in every four women before the age of 45. In the USA alone, there was 881,000 abortions in the year of 2017. In China, in 2014, there were 13 million abortions. And as you know in China, that there's a lot of forced abortions. You can't have more than a certain amount of children, and they'll force it. Uh, in New York, 33% of pregnancies were aborted, so which is a pretty high number. And also in 2014, 88,400 uh, 466 abortions were paid for by public funds. So here, there's some numbers that this is a big deal. You know, there's about almost a million infants are aborted every year in the United States. So as a, as a church and as evangelicals, as followers of Jesus, we want to understand what is the biblical view on this. And I'm not going to tell you right out right now. Actually, you're going to have to wait till the end of all these debates and then we're going to get into it but we're going to allow the students to pull together arguments to come up with their reasoning search the scriptures search science and what what is right and that's what we're going to do over the next few weeks so the debate itself is going to be in two weeks i believe it's march 30th so two weeks and we're going to have a debate. We're going to, we'll probably do it on here. Uh, we'll let you see the different arguments on each side. And our goal, we have, we have three things that we're trying to accomplish. One is to understand the views. Why do, why do people who want to have abortions believe it's right? We want to understand their viewpoint. And why do, why do pro-life think it's wrong? So we want to understand both viewpoints. And the second one is we want to understand what the Bible teaches on the subject. We want to understand what God says. Is it right? Is it wrong? Because maybe you have a viewpoint, but what does God say? And the third thing is we want to learn how to argue respectfully. We want to learn how to present the truth with confidence, but also with grace. And we know that this is a sensitive topic, even for people who have had an abortion. And we don't want to go around thinking, well, we have the truth and we just want to beat you over the head with it or anything. We have to be gracious to people who may be suffering from guilt and shame because of this and be able to uh, offer the forgiveness of God. And we also want to uh, be able to learn how to dialogue with people who disagree with us and to do it uh, intellectually and with respect, uh, but to also stay biblical. So I look forward to having you with us on this journey. And uh, next week we'll have more info for you. So I know it's going to be a tough topic, but it's one we don't want to ignore. And we're going to be tackling it this month. So thank you.